Paxton Bowl with local 15 sports. Former St. Paul star quarterback and Alabama backup quarterback Jake Coker has not had the easiest of roads. He left Florida State thinking he'd immediately become the starter at Alabama. Instead, now he's watching from the sidelines as the Crimson Tide look to cap off the greatest season ever for the team's offense. But still, ask Coker and he'll tell you the grass is still greener. There was a time back in August when Jake Coker was on the Maxwell Award Watch list. But the transfer from FSU lost the quarterback battle to Blake Sims, who had a record-breaking year. Coker has no regrets. Uh, we're 12 and 1 sitting here in the playoffs and uh, you know if there's there's a guy that, that that would be starting over me, you know, Blake he's he's a great guy, you know, and in all honesty, he's he's an inspiration to the whole team. Coker has every reason to keep his head up. Sims is moving on after this season. Coker has another year. To me everything happens for a reason. I made the decision I made and uh, we are where we're at and it's not like I'm, you know, in a bad spot at all, so I mean, I'm heck, I'm happy with where I'm at. Coker knows he has to be locked in this week. If Sims gets hurt, Coker is the next man up. I mean, it's been the same. Just uh, you know, maintain focus and uh, you know, just gotta be ready to get in the game, uh, no matter what, because you never know what's gonna happen. Now, as Coker says, he has no regrets, and sitting behind a proven veteran and learning before his senior year actually could pay dividends. Just ask Blake Sims how it worked for him. Reporting from New Orleans, Paxton Boyd, Local 15 Sports. Our coverage from the Sugar